Welcome to Sumbawa! Guys, we are in Sumbawa right now. If you don't know, that's an island on the east of Lombok and it is pretty remote here. Today I want to share with you one of the best snorkeling I've done this year, which is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go back in the water and we're gonna go explore those amazing fishes and everything. So let's get started. Let's grab a kayak and go. out of the water and we've got our amazing dogs with us have you seen how crazy beautiful those reefs were i mean trina we I went to the maldives like no, no, no. and maldives was pretty sick but this yeah, is like they really next level the reefs here. It's beautiful. yeah they totally undersold hey quick story should we tell them like how we got here what we're doing and stuff so how did we get here Well, first of all, the journey was pretty epic. Not because it was difficult, just because, I don't know, it was it's... a little bit long. With that being said, now we're in this tropical paradise. We are basically on the island of Sumbawa, which is next to Lombok. And it's kind of lost in the middle of nowhere, if you want. It's so undeveloped, that is, this place is the only resort that you will find in the whole beach. area yeah which is kind of crazy huh that is kind of crazy but it's a beautiful place i think also what's, what's really interesting is because we first started off in bali then moved east to lombok then moved even more east to where we are now in Sumbawa. and personally i really do see a change i've always wanted to go to bali it was beautiful in ubud but honestly i liked lombok more <laughs> yeah lombok, lombok. is definitely amazing it's really good not many people go there compared to bali it's really awesome so here just a quick view guys this is where we're staying right now and you can see the whole property you might have seen it on the drone it's absolutely beautiful you can even walk out here which is awesome they have a half pipe for skating because you have world class surfing right here but as you can see today it's more like a lake uh, simply moons are changing and which makes absolutely no surf right now we heard that there was a fisherman village just over there and what they say is uh, actually they're producing something we use in all countries a lot here so super curious to see that I'm not sure if they're still around I mean it's it's sunset time now and look at our dogs what's their name Chili and Clarissa uh, Greasy no oh wait Gracie Gracie and I it's keep calling her Clarissa, Clarissa. I don't know why. because she really loves it and she just follows me everywhere she <laughs> sleeps in front of the door at night she's awesome so we're coming on it right now it's called agar and we use it in our countries as a substitute for gelatin because gelatin is usually made with meat. But here you can make it with the seaweed and you can use it as a vegan or vegetarian gelatin. Da -da -da -da. So all of this grows out there. And what they do is they grow it on these long strings. Which like that? Here. Like those? Like these. Oh, yeah, here. these too. And you have all the, the agar attached to it. And then you have to pluck it off. And then afterwards you can go and dry it in those big drying racks. 
Oh, I didn't see those at the background. I got a guard. Oh, cool. And that's what you find in your supermarkets. All right, so everyone's living off of that here in this village mostly. And you can see those are the traditional huts. It's mainly for drying and keeping it dry because it rains a lot. And here you can see the agar is being dried everywhere. Salamat, madam. And uh, well, everyone's super friendly here, but yeah. Next time you're in the supermarket and you see the powder for gelatin, think about those people who actually made it possible for you to have it. I don't think they eat it. No. They were trying to offer some uh, agar to Trina, but Trina, we don't know how to cook it. So we don't know what to do with it, which is pretty sad. Makan? See that? Yeah? Oh! Oh, wow, so cool. Oh, nice. Are you, you going to try it, Trina? Try, try. Oh, salty. It's good. It's crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> Another dog is not happy that we have two dogs. <laughs> wow, look at the view on the beach, guys. Look, the mountain, the volcano in the background. And here with the fishermen with their traditional hats, the sunset. This is a perfect moment. This is one of those moments I travel for, meeting other people, seeing how they live, what they do, and those beautiful landscapes. <laughs> Oh man, I can't believe it. It's one of those moments. Look, I keep shooting photos right now, but I don't have my long lens. I'm, I'm on the wide angle right now, and I just wish I could like snap those two fishermen like really tight, and it would be absolutely amazing. Trina, I think we're gonna send off people right here. So, if you like that video, guys, remember, leave it a big thumbs up for the... If you like agar agar, leave a thumbs up. If you wanna try some, leave a thumbs up. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and you can read in the blog post that Trina is uh, putting together how to get here, how to explore everything yes. about this area because it's so incredible. There is so much more to explore. We might be sharing another uh, video with you about this location. It's, it's just incredible. Really and beautiful waterfalls too. Ooh, waterfall chasing. So remember, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you in the next episode. And with that being said, remember, make the most of your time on this planet. You never know when you're gonna die or disappear or if you'll be here tomorrow or if you'll be eaten by agar alive see you guys so one of the cool fruit that we got in the season is what is it called Trina? I'm gonna have one okay so this is how you open it it's very simple uh, Take it all in your mouth. You suck it, there is a massive pit inside. Oh yeah, like a funny hair. Alright, this is the captain's cabin here. And you can see the old Excuse equipment. Me. And Excuse boom. Me. So we're going just there. Went all the way in the water. I mean, if you don't have a zoom, you gotta get close to your target and I have to say they did go a bit far I tried to follow them but I'm not that well equipped right now and I had Clarissa the dog that was just following me everywhere that's so cool look at this moment you're living all across the world absolutely insane beautiful love it really awesome actually it's like some kind of After that brief intermittence of, oh my god, I freaked out, I dropped the camera, nothing's he working he anymore. Dropped, he broke his camera. Which wow. Is, okay. He started sweating. Yeah, super scary. Okay. What, Trina? I just wanted to say fun facts with Trina. Did you know that 80% of international tourists only go to Bali? That's right. We're starting a new campaign. Hashtag get out of Bali. Okay, that's all. Thank you, Trina. That was uh, very interesting. That is the cool thing about Zimbabwe. You come, there's more cows than people.